at some point on your website, you're going to have a services area. And I've got an example over here. And I'm going to show you how to build this really, really quickly. We have a parent container set to be 1000 width. It's set to be space between because I've got two child containers inside as well. And I've gone and added in a bit of padding, 100 on the top and 15 on the left and right, because that's what it will replicate when you get to the tablet and the mobile. I like to just have a bit of 15 spacing. So this is just a parent container, 1000, two child containers. The very first child container is set to be a width of a 310 pixel and all it contains inside of there is a background overlay and rather than using a contain or cover I've gone for custom because I've intentionally don't want the image well I wanted the image to sit a certain way but I wanted to have a bit of a cutoff effect as well. If I'd gone for contain, it would have looked like that. Cover was okay, but it kind of wasn't the exact effect I wanted. So I've gone with custom. So this is just a child container containing an image. If we go to the second child container, and this is the beauty of using Flexbox container, we have three icon boxes. Each one of these icon boxes has got a horizontal effect and I shared a previous video on how to do that. The code is there. Your icon, your heading and your content are side by side. We have uh, three icon boxes and then I have another sub child container. That sub child container is set to be a row, which you can see over here. And again, we've gone with space between. We have a text editor and we just have another sub sub child container. And that just contains inside of there a heading and some text and a background color. What's really cool about this is that this particular child container, everything is aligned to be at the bottom. So if I'd gone with that or gone to the top, you can see the effect. Now, if you're wondering where the space came from, it's actually powered by this particular child container here. So if I was to make that be smaller, you can now see that this container is now touching the bottom of the icon box. So I hope you're following this through. Parent container, two child containers. The first child container image, nothing else, right? Background image. And why did I use a child container? I could have just dropped in an image. Well, if I decide I'm now going to drop in a call to action button or some further text on top of the image, I could do that. Okay, so I've got a bit of like extra leeway there. The second child container basically contains three icon boxes. Everything sits below one another because it is automatically defaulting to the column verticular route. Look, I could hit column vertical. It's not going to change everything. Everything is aligned to start at the top. So second child container, three icon boxes. Inside of there, we have a child container that allows me to have my text and another child container. Because you might look at this and go, well, okay, how was that created? But if you can visualize what you want and then break it down, you'll start to understand. I had to have a sub child container over here because I wanted to have my heading and text and a background color. I could have used a single text editor as well and just added in some padding, but I wanted to have some breathing space in there. So that's why I went for that particular look. I could have maybe have not even had a child container over here and just gone for a row. You can make it easier for yourself with just adding in child and sub child, but you could also do this with less containers. So like I said, this second child container, if it was set to be a row, 100%, 100%, by the way, row and wrap, 100%, 100%, 100% width. And then down here, we would get to say 50% width and 50% width as well here with a text editor. So I could have just gone with two child containers. This is just another way of how you could showcase services. These are all example headings and text I have over here. But when it comes to telling people about your services, you don't have to go with the textbook look, which is almost like child containers. You might have an icon box. You might have an image, service name, and then click here or whatever. You could tell them a bit more. So service one, you design websites and then you summarize really quickly SEO services. Maybe you do logo design. Then you kind of showcase what does this mean for you? What do you get out of it? And then you add in a further few more details over there. And just to round it off, you might then have like a divider line, a bit more text and your call to action button. Your call to action buttons don't have to be muddying up what you got over here. So this is just another example of how you could sell your services and how you could do it with loads of containers or well, not so many containers. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. See you soon.